Hello student, in the last class we learned shape creation and in this class we learned some other parameter of the shape. So first I create a rectangle. Rectangle is created. When you create a rectangle pin is highlighted on the corners. These are corner pins. By default all the pin are selected. If you click and hold on a pin and then drag inside these corner convert into a rounded corner like this and if you click on this point and drag outside these rounded corner convert into a sharp point like this if you want to provide roundness on a point so first select that point I select this point now this point is highlighted with thick line it's mean it's selected if I click and drag only roundness is apply on this point. If you want to select more than one point first select one point then press shift key and then click on the second point. Now these point are selected if you click on this point and drag inside curvature is applied on these points. When you hover your mouse on these points this point convert into a scale tool like this I zoom little bit. And you can scale rectangle inside or outside like this or you can also use these points also like this. If you want to scale this rectangle in proportion so first press shift key then click and drag inside or outside. Now this rectangle is scale in a proportion. When you hover your mouse outside this shape this pointer convert into a rotation tool and you can rotate this shape like this. And by pressing shift key you can snap this rotation on the 45 degree angle like this. Now I double click on this round pin. Transform panel is display and in this transform panel rectangle properties is available. These are width or height you can also check here. When you hover your mouse on these value and then scroll this rectangle will scale up or scale down like this. And if you want to rotate your shape click on this small arrow and choose any preset like 30 degree or 45 degree. I reset this again to 0. And in the bottom these are corner properties by default round property is apply. But if you click on this arrow you can choose invert round pattern chamfer pattern like this. Now I create a polygon so I right click on this rectangle and choose polygon then press shift key and then click and drag a hexagon is created. In the transform panel polygon property is available you can increase side from here like this or you can use this slider also. And if you want to rotate you can choose these preset value from here like this and this property for roundness by clicking on this point you can provide roundness on these corners when you click and drag inside a roundness value is applied here or you can change from here also like this and these are polygon height and width property by click and drag you can scale up or scale down a polygon. Now I create a star shape so I right click and choose star tool and then click and drag press shift key to align from the baseline. In this star there is no point to provide roundness on these points. Now I switch to selection tool. Rotation pin is still not available. If I select a polygon rotation pin is available and I can modify this. If I select this rectangle I can modify this also. But there is no rotation pin is available. If you want to provide roundness on these points select direct selection tool and shortcut is A. Rotation pin is available by click and drag you can provide roundness on these points like this. I hope you learned how to modify basic shapes. Now we meet in the next class. If you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel and like this video.